Good afternoon, Bear Country. Um, this video clip is for all 9th, 10th, and 11th graders, um, basically who are set to come back to school here real soon. We're very excited that um, there was a memo that was sent out before spring break to all the families. Uh, board made a decision. There were there were some protocols that had to align, but the guidance and everything have come to the point where now we are officially able to come back to school. But when we come back to school, we're going to do what's called a phased reopening. So the way this is going to work is that um, there are certain dates that certain groups of students are going to come back to school and come from class to class observing the current block schedule in order to be able to get in-person instruction. Okay, so that phased reopening is going to look something like this. So next Monday on April the 12th, the, the memo says all seniors are eligible to come back, which that part is true. But there's also another group that we're calling um, the designated groups within um, special ed, our ELD students, all levels, one through four, and also our homeless and foster um, youth students. So this applies to all grade levels nine through 12. So if you're within one of those five um, categories that we've been running learning labs for here the last few weeks, those students are eligible to come back on April the 12th also. So even if you're not a senior and you're an ELD student, a mild mod special ed student, or a homeless foster student, you're eligible to come back as well to go through your classes to receive that um, very important in-person instruction. So then nine days later, notice how I said nine days, not a week, but on April the 21st, the freshmen will be eligible to come back on campus. So we'll have those five specialized groups, the seniors, and then on April the 21st, all incoming freshmen will be, actually they are freshmen, will be coming back to campus as well. Um, so you can see how the phasers are kind of rolling back in with the 28th, which is the following Wednesday, April 28th, all sophomores and juniors will come back to campus. So um, within the next three weeks after this one, we're going to bring classes back one group at a time to where we will be in class, in-person instruction, running school um, as we normally would run school from an instructional standpoint. So now I want to talk to you about what the schedule looks like. So we will observe the very same bell schedule that we are observing in this distance learning environment so that we can serve both students in person on campus and those who choose to stay in a distance learning environment. There's a new term we call simulcasting which means that we're kind of doing both things at the same time. However, we would prefer that you come back to campus to get the, most, the very valuable teacher-student interaction. So the way that's going to work is the bell schedule will still be three 90-minute blocks. We will start school at 8 a.m. We'll run until 9.30 a.m. and then we'll have a break to move on to the second block, which will be a 10-minute break. At that time, across campus, through stations across campus, we'll have a grab-and-go snack. The idea is that you would grab that snack and you would um, enjoy that snack before you get to your next class. Uh, because all COVID protocols and guidelines will be in place for face coverings and I'll get into that in a minute. And then you would do your second block worth of instruction. When that block is over at 11.20 or so, then you would be released to go to the last block of the day, which ends at 1 p.m. At 1 p.m. is when school would be dismissed. So at 1 p.m. is when the buses will run. There'll be a grab-and-go lunch available for you so that you can grab it and take it with you as you exit campus. As far as transportation is concerned, transportation, as you can imagine, is going to be a challenge because all the schools are open at the same time with buses running at the same time. So transportation will be somewhat limited. Um, so those students who live outside of the Arvin area I want to encourage you to go to the Kern High School District website. Under the resources pull down, you'll find a, a tab that says bus schedules. When you open up bus schedules, you will see a lot of the high schools listed. Go to Arvin High School link and open that up. Within that link by next, um, hopefully by this Friday, there will be an updated bus schedule for how things will start running April the 12th. Right now the bus schedule you'll see in there is for our distance learning labs that are on campus today. So for that, go to that website and keep checking back throughout the week for an updated schedule that will start on the 12th. For all other classes, for, 
for, and that's just your seniors and, and five groups. The following week, hopefully things will be, as we move forward, updated in a manner that makes sense to you guys that have bus stops. So be careful about, um, oh, I know where my bus stop's at. It's where, where it was when I left for COVID. Well, all the bus routes are gonna be rerouted. So make sure to check with the Kern High website. Also, we will be observing all of the COVID protocols um, that are outlined by state and, and county guidance through the health department as far as how to keep students safe while they're here on campus. So basically those will be social distancing. The guidance fortunately has changed to three feet from the six feet guidance that it prior was so that we can operate the school a little bit um, more easily with the classrooms. Desks will be six or excuse me, three feet apart all the way around. So they'll be placed within the room strategically so that we can observe those protocols. We also ask students to observe social distancing as well of three feet. Uh, masks will be mandatory. At this point, the guidance is for, for schools that are in session for you to always have on a mask. That's inside the classroom and also outside to make sure that we don't become super spreaders when we get all these students back on campus. So very important. Also, when you come onto campus, every one of the gates out in front of the school, as you come onto campus, we will be facilitating temperature checks and health screening questions before you come onto campus. The health screening questions such as, are there, um, have you been exposed to anybody that's had a positive test for COVID? Are you experiencing any symptoms, fever, chills, and et cetera? So that screening um, situation will, will be facilitated as you come onto campus as well. Then come onto campus and we will get you into class. Um, the last piece is um, Chromebooks. Right now, currently, every student has a Chromebook checked out to them that Chromebook is your responsibility. Um, at this point in time, we don't have enough Chromebooks in the classrooms to be able to um, provide you with one while you're in class. So what we're asking is that that Chromebook now becomes your textbook. So if you plan to come to campus for in-person instruction, please be responsible in that that Chromebook goes into a backpack. I would encourage you the night before you come to school to charge it, fully charge. Bring the cord with you just in case the battery Life doesn't last you through all three blocks, but be very diligent and careful with that Chromebook. But you will be required to bring that with you if you come to school for in-person instruction. Um, the teachers will facilitate instruction. They'll be doing various ways of, of in-person instruction, but you will still need that Chromebook for assignments and things like that. So very important to bring that with you. And um, at that point, you'll be able to, to operate with whatever the teachers bring your way. So wanted to give you all of that information to say that we're very excited to have you guys coming back to campus. Been very lonely for the last year and we're very anxious to get staff and students back on campus to be able to rebuild our Arvin uh, Bear culture, Arvin family. But I want to give you a parting thought as today as I'm sitting in front of you, this is the first day of the fourth quarter. And so um, we are in the home stretch this year, which has been crazy, is now getting back to some form of regular in-person instruction, which I highly encourage you guys to come back to school, to be able to work with teachers in person, to get you on track, to get you to where your, your learning is getting to the full power of what it was intended to be. And so with that, I want to encourage you to finish strong. Um, seniors, for you guys, very important to get across that graduation stage. If you're a 9th, 10th, or 11th grader, it's the same thing as a lot of us have struggled in this environment and find ourselves a little bit behind. But the good news is you still have 10 weeks to salvage this second semester. So get to school, work with your teachers, um, get to work on bringing up those grades and recovering all of that credit. So we look forward to seeing you soon.